Biden to put anti-gun activist in charge of ATF. That's a that's a really good really good move. So so that's what they're going to plan on doing. Biden can only do so much with his executive action, and he knows that whatever you want to call it. So he's going to use the the DOJ in essence to to do. Is dirty bidding. So what they'll do is they'll 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 find any regulatory loophole they can. But I'm afraid that uh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I mean, they may get a little cherry pick here and there, but it's not going to make anywhere close to a dent on the hundreds of millions of guns in the possessions of human beings that have no desire to to wait for anyone to show up to knock on the door and say, hey. We'd like to take you for a ride to a to another new new place. Yeah, we're gonna relocate you. Yeah, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Tired of waiting for Republicans to do the right thing, Biden announced executive action to expand gun control. This is from Politics USA, which is one of the worst of the worst leftist sites that you could possibly read, and there's some bad rightist sites as well. But this is certainly one of the one of the worst on the left. They use uh, incendiary language uh, constantly. Talk about sco- stochiastic or whatever it's called, terrorism. I would say these folks are, are, are well within that camp. When Joe Biden was running for president, he promised to use executive action to help with the gun problem in him. There you go. There's a presumption there. There's, a, there's no gun problem. Now, there is, a, there is a, a mental health problem in America. And there is a problem in America where human beings are increasingly finding it difficult to envision a future that includes them in it. And they're, they're turning to violence because that's what happens when you lose all hope. So that's the real problem, but never mind that. Well, he was initially focused on vaccination and the economy. He got around to the issue on Wednesday night. He got around to the issue on Wednesday night following two March mass shootings. Biden said, well, I don't care what he said. Biden prepares to take gun violence, to take on gun violence in wake of back-to-back shooting. No, it's just violence. It's irrelevant whether it was a gun involved or not. And that's the violence that's being produced by the way that 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 corporations, that governments are, are treating human beings on a, on a large scale. And it's producing gu- violence, acts of violence by people on all sides of the political and religious spectrum as well. All races and creeds and national it's it's proving that we are all equal, that we are all one. Yeah, because truly uh, what we are seeing is is pretty good a, a good representation of the great American melting pot. Except in this case the great American melting pot is losing its freaking mind, which I can kind of understand. Executive actions Biden turns to limited moves on gun control with Congress at a standstill. And, and this is the big story right here. This is the big focus. Biden to nominate former special agent gun control advocate David Chapman as ATF director. Biden to nominate. I mean, I'm sorry. Listen, Republicans such as you are, if you don't have a backbone to stand up and make sure that we don't have a gun control activist which is a, a, a gun confiscationist. This is a totalitarianist. If you're for gun confiscation, you're a totalitarianist. If, if that, that, there, there's, there, that's fundamentally anti-American. That is a Bill of Rights. That is an anti-Bill of Rights person, openly anti-Bill of Rights, and you want to make them part of your administration. And the Republicans, if you don't stand up to that, I mean, what good are you? you you've already proven not to be good. This is why we at the Freedomists don't align ourselves with political parties. We align ourselves with the Bill of Rights, and that's about it. There's no political party that's fundamentally a champion of the Bill of Rights. 